Hey guys, it's Josh from the Ren and Quickie Review Channel. I'm here with an overview video for a gun that I recently fixed, rebuilt, and that I'm not gonna have uh, anymore. Uh, this is the GMP WOC Century. I got this off eBay for a pretty good price because it was non-functioning. Uh, there were problems with the nozzle, the bolt carrier, as well as some other uh, miscellaneous issues. And I decided to buy it, fix it up, and sell it off to someone who actually runs a Western Arms style gun. Because the only reason that I'm not keeping this is because I don't have any Western Arms magazines for it. And I don't want to invest any more than I have to because I already run a WE SCAR, so all my money is put into that. So, this is the gun. Uh, show you guys both sides. This has a Vealtor and Emon stock, I think, in this position, as well as a Vealtor buffer tube, which is kind of cool. Uh, QD sling swivel points. Got one on the uh, left side here. A uh, Magpul lower receiver. Uh, Magpul Myad real steel grip. Uh, MUR1 uh, licensed upper receiver. Troy rear battle sight. Um, all the fiddly bits and internals are GNP steel. I'll show you guys that at the end of the video. Uh, trying to keep this as short as possible. The bolt carrier is a 5KU aluminum bolt carrier, and the bolt itself or the nozzle is a 5KU aluminum nozzle. Um, the rail is a Daniel Fence uh, 7 inch light rail. Plenty of issues uh, trying to get this to work. It did come with it, but it was just horrible, misaligned, loose, even though it was tightened all the way down. I had to do a lot of filing and fitting to get this to work and actually look how it's supposed to look. I uh, have a, five, not five KU, a King Arms Vealtor front sight. It did come with an A2 front sight to begin with, though. Um, this is a standard M4 length uh, steel GNP outer barrel. It's got a st uh, the standard GNP inner barrel as well. Uh, the flash hider is a APS Phantom, and this was also a pain. The threading was off, horrible. I had to sand it down and rethread it to the steel barrel. So, showing you guys the internals before I run out of time. This is a extreme pain because the forward receiver pin is a Arctic Magic pin. So there is absolutely hardly any give between those. So this is all GNP steel internal parts: steel hammer, uh, bolt catch, ambi select, uh, ambi magazine catch, steel selector, steel trigger, trigger sear and steel buffer lock. It also has a aluminum buffer and the standard spring. The standard uh, full auto sear. So, it shoots nice now that I got it working. Before it was inconsistent. I wouldn't even get it to shoot BBs sometimes. But I finally got it working. So, uh, you guys can finally see this. Too bad I'm not doing a review of this gun, but there's no point because I'm not keeping it and I don't have enough time really to do a review. It does take me quite a while to produce my reviews as I like them looking nice. So that's been my overview of the Sentry. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys at the next video, uh, whether it's a review, overview, or just a channel update. Later.